I'm Tom Miggett from Tom Miggett Photography. Today I'm in one of my favourite spots in Scotland. This is the Isle of Skye where the landscape and the whisky are both amazing. Well, let's talk about the landscape a little bit. Sometimes when you want to capture a landscape, you may want to have your entire frame in focus. In order to do that, you may want to rely on what we call the hyperfocal distance. So what is that distance? Well, it's a magic one that if you focus at it, your entire frame will be in focus or at least you will have the deepest depths of field. So how do you figure out what that distance is? Well, it's fairly simple really. You may want to use your phone and use the depth of field app that I've talked about in previous episodes, or you can find some tables online. But basically what you need to know is that distance use an algorithm based on three factors. The first one is your focal lens. Very easy to figure that out. The second one is going to be your aperture. Once again, very easy to figure out. And the third factor is going to be your crop factor. So whether you're on a full frame or a crop sensor body. So that's it. Once you enter those three factors in your app, it will give you the hyperfocal distance. So I've done a test just before my phone died and I use the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter, which is the lens that I'm using right now. Uh, and I wanted to shoot at 10 millimeter using an aperture of F11 because it was rather dark uh, this morning. And the app gave me 46 centimeters. So then I needed to focus at 46 centimeters. You have two choices. Either your lens has a scale on it, like my Sigma does, and then you go on manual mode and you set up your distance according to that scale. If you actually look through the viewfinder, then you will my you might realize that actually nothing is in focus, but trust the system, just take the shot and you will see. If your lens doesn't have a scale like this cheap 18 to 135, then in that case, you just try to figure out something that's gonna be about 46 centimeters away from you, focus on that point and then recompose. And this is really all there is to know about the hyperfocal distance. So here is going to be a few shots that I've taken this morning and some that I'm hopefully going to be able to take this afternoon if I'm not fighting too much with the clouds and the rain. So until then, this is Tommy Good saying if you like it, well, capture it, maybe use the hyperfocal distance. Ciao.